Here I will walk you through how to deliver your live online session on Bramble. You'll be loaded into your room and this is where the magic happens. So you'll be faced with the first page of your notebook. You can think of your notebook as replicating a stack of papers you'd work on in real life. So you can change pages using the forward and backward arrows and any working you do on the page can be seen immediately and in real time by all the other people in the room with you. So that should mean that your lesson flows seamlessly exactly how it would as if you're in person. And what we've also tried to do is give you access to the same tools as you would have offline whilst keeping the functionality very simple. So say we wanted to look at some cell biology as an example, I can upload some material by clicking on this upload icon and choosing from device and then choosing any PDF or image file I want to upload to the room for us to work on together. So I'm going to choose this cell diagram here. I can also drag and drop files straight from the folder on my computer into the Bramble room, which is a very quick way of doing it, and choose images from previous sessions. And I can also copy and paste images or take screenshots and paste them straight into the room. I recommend you watch our video on screenshotting if you want to find out more about that. Okay, so let's head back to that cell diagram. I can make annotations using the pen tool. So as you can see down here, I've already got the pen selected so I can circle the mitochondrion. Now, if I click on that again, it will turn into an eraser so I can rub that circle out. And then if I click on it once more, it will turn to text so I can add a text label. Then if I want to go back to the pen, I just click on it again and then I can add an arrow there. Next to the pen icon, we've got the color droplet, so you can cycle through the colors in much the same way, and we've got four available there for you. Jumping over to the other side here, we've got undo and redo, which do exactly what they say on the tin. So with the combination of these simple functions, you should be able to teach almost anything. Okay, so let's take a look at the last few tools. So here we have our webcam and snapshot option. So I click it once, and it gives me my options. To take a snapshot, I just hold a resource up to the camera, line it up, and then take a snapshot to share it directly onto the page. This is very useful when teaching younger students who are doing handwriting or drawing outside of their online device. And the other option we have is webcam. So some tutors and students like to use this at the beginning or end of a session to say hi and bye, whilst others like to focus the whole session on the notebook. Okay, finally over here, we have the export button, which we recommend using at the end of every session. So what it does is it clears the notebook and it sends everyone present in the room a PDF copy of the material covered. If you click on this question mark, you'll see the lesson information. So you can see what time it started and how long it's been going on for, who's in the lesson with you and how many pages your notebook holds. Now we recommend keeping your notebook below 100 pages. So do make sure you use that export button to keep the notebook pages down to avoid overloading your room. However, you can leave material in the room if you so wish by simply clicking out of the room without exporting. This means when you enter your room later, your notebook will be found exactly how you left it. But do just note a PDF of your work will not be generated and the notebook will not be cleared until you press that export button. A PDF is one record of the session, the other is the full session recording. You'll find this recording appear immediately in the sessions page of your account. Both tutor and student can then play it back whenever and search for specific subjects covered on their library page. Check out our session recordings video to find out more.